Hey guys, welcome back. With Update Aquatic, we can now place item frames on horizontal surfaces, and we can now put this to good use and create some interesting new lighting ideas. So let's take a look at this garage in front of us, and inside this garage we're using a new kind of lighting effect. So this is a large flat kind of panel designed for a light source. I think it certainly looks like a light. Looks pretty good in my opinion, and we don't need texture changes, we don't need mods, we are in the vanilla game. And this is all now possible as of Update Aquatic. So the way this works is we are placing maps inside item frames that are placed on top of a light source. So here I've got a sea lantern, placed down an item frame on a horizontal surface, so here on the bottom of a sea lantern block. We couldn't do this previously in the game, we could only place it on the side of a block. And once you've done that, you just put down a map that's got a large flat area. Here I've got a large white looking map. And then you've got a seamless kind of lighting effect. We can repeat this on different blocks and to create a nice large panel light source. It all comes down to having a map though. You need a large map like this. It's 128 blocks by 128. So many thousands of blocks you have to place. Maybe you want to use white concrete and place it down and map that, but that can be even time consuming in a creative world, let alone survival. So maybe you want to use carpet. You could put down carpet in your over overworld and map that out. But even when you do that and you put the map inside an item frame, you will see the different height changes and color changes basically shading if you don't have a flat area. So that could be a pretty time consuming way to do it without getting the desired result. So another thing you could try is dig out a large flat area. This could be hard to do, but it is possible even in survival. And then maybe use snow golems. Maybe you could put down some snow golems, grab a lead and lead them along. Now that's one way to kind of harvest or not even harvest, you're actually planting in this instance. Maybe even seeding, seeding your maps with snow layers, maybe that's a good way to create your map in a scenario like this. You do have to clear out the land so that can be time consuming. But once you've created the map, go to a different part of your world because you don't want your map to update in your different part of the world. So you want it to keep all this nice flat area. So that's something you have to try and think about. Wherever you create your map, make sure it's not near anywhere that you'll ever build. And then once you've come into your part that you do want to build, you could easily create a copy of that map. So you only got to create it once. Then go into a crafting table with an empty map and then you can clone it. And once you start cloning maps, that's when you can start using them in this kind of way. So it's a great little idea. Maybe in the survival it's a little bit more challenging if you want to create a large map area like this. But you could do it with a number of blocks. I think you can do it with carpet, even just the, 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 the wall blocks. Um, it may be white concrete if you really want to go that way or just snow blocks. but. It can be a time consuming. I recommend the snow golem effect. You just got to create a large flat area. 128 by 128 blocks. Just check your map to make sure you're standing in the middle or in the boundaries. So you, you only map out the area that you need to. And then give this a go. Maybe plant this or try this out in different parts of your builds. Maybe an overhead light source even on the ground. Maybe you want a light source on, on a ground surface. That could be something you experiment with. But give it a go and I'm interested to see what kind of ideas you guys come up with. So there you go. Give this a go, and uh, happy building. <laughs> Thanks, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.